So anyone who's popping into the stream, if there's anyone even in here, uh, there are, there's some people in here. Uh, welcome, first of all, super excited about today. I, I really hope you guys enjoy the stream. Something original finally that I uh, thought of. So hopefully it ends up being a fun stream. Um, it's just a 1v1 tournament in between my friends and everybody. Uh, not, not randoms because I feel like if we did it with randoms, it might turn a little chaotic. Uh, being that we have to stream cap on Discord. They could, they could show literally anything and I could get banned on Twitch. So we're going to just do it with friends. Uh, if this goes good, we're going to host another tournament and I'm going to throw some money in. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, uh, the stream and yeah, we're going to get started. All right. So the, the game mode rules, let's see, I'll just bring them over here into the stream. They are two minutes of sur survival, two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Survival, honestly, we got three rounds, four lives. And respawn after two seconds. Oh, I just respawn time. You're almost perfect, yes. Yeah. So the first map is going to be what is it? Rusted. Rusted lands. Okay. Alright. We're loading on into freaking rusted lands. We got all the emotes in the chats. Unfortunately, no tryhard sevens. We should probably just keep those out just in case. I don't know, you know. I don't know what the, the thoughts behind that are. Um Survive. So Alex and Caleb facing off. He's at 60 FPS. Um, <laughs> he was complaining about it. Hopefully he doesn't drop too bad. All right, we got Outbreak Perfected. What a choice. Am I right or am I right? Should I turn off my face cam for this? Should I, I, I might turn off my face cam when we're in game, huh? All right, currently Caleb is looking for Alex. Alex is pushing with Felwinters, I would imagine. We're gonna see how this fight goes down. He's hitting with Thorn, taking a little bit of damage, not too much. That seemed like a Celestial Fire wasted. He's rushing with Felwinters. Is he going to grab the kill? Absolutely, because that was free. Already one live down, a minute and 30 left on the freaking clock. 0-0. Zero, zero. This might be Alex's first round of the freaking tournament. If this Outbreak perfected, Caleb here does not take down Alex at least once this round. What is the uh, what is the consensus on my face cam? Should I turn it off? All right, Alex is seemingly dead One here. Yeah, he got stuck on that wall. Unfortunate for Alex. We are three three. A minute left on the board. Last guardian standing, not going away for some reason. The fitting aspect is not a bad choice here on Caleb's part. We're getting into a little firefight. Currently, Alex is a little bit low here. He's getting hit with a solar nade, and yet he does not dodge ahead out of that. It seems like Alex is, Alex is rushing with his Felwinter's lies, trying to clean up Caleb. Alex is not performing bad here, to be honest. He is uh, he's abusing the the range that he that Caleb has. Caleb has to keep distance with this outbreak in order to get a single kill. And, and Alex seems to be taking quite advantage of that. Yeah, that's gonna be first round, I would say, for Alex. Good stuff so far. Let's freaking go. Oh, we're 0 1, and Alex is taking the dub. Who would have thunk? Alex not performing badly, honestly. I, I didn't expect this out of Alex. I really did, ex I really did not. All right, we got one weapon swap so far, and we have the Omniscient Eye. What a choice for your boy here. He has literally all range. Man has entire loadout of range. Alex getting bursted down again. Oh, that was a trade. I really did think that was uh, that was Caleb's kill, and it should have been. But Alex setting himself up for a good little trade there. Let's see if Caleb can at least get one snipe with his Omniscient Eye. We got him coming from the left. Caleb did not know. And that's going to be 2-3. With a minute left on the board. Minute 15, to be honest. To, to be exact there. My commentating skills are very new, because I've never done this before. So if it's a little cringe, sorry, buddies. Heavy is up, but we decided on no heavy for this tournament. No heavy and uh, some other things. If you don't know the rules, I can pop them up every now and then. I guess I could have also made a uh, could have also made a uh, what what is it a um, command? But I forgot. 
So if you're looking for the rules, just, just say something in chat. You can see Caleb shaking. Yeah, Caleb is very nervous. And the nervous is getting its getting a uh, hold of him. He's probably going to lose this game because of it. Unfortunate for Caleb, he might be the first in loser's bracket. But I have hope. I have hope that he can bring this back. Alex is really taking advantage of his range. Unfortunate. In order for Caleb to get kills here, he needs to set himself up at a very far distance because he's using a pulse rifle as well as uh, a sniper. Alex is pushing in with his thorn and his shotgun and taking advantage of that. As long as this man keeps his distance, he can get every kill. Thorn does not have the range. You can do it, Caleb. You got this, man. Also, you're going to have to... Like, when your guys are playing, I think, Caleb, you're still listening. Don't worry about it now, but uh, the next next game, make sure you turn me off. Alex picking up a kill with his super. Unfortunate. You got this, Caleb. You got this, man. I feel like, I feel like he can bring this back. All he's got to do is get at least one or two more kills. Alex did great. You're right. Alex is going off. I'm not going to lie. We are in Caleb's perspective. Using the outbreak. If I had any... If this were me playing and if I had a weapon swap, I would have definitely swapped that outbreak. I'm not going to lie. He's also seeming to forget that he has healing rifts. Oh. What was that? Oh, Alex is lagging really bad. That's not fun. Unfortunate. Man just teleported across the map. Hmm. That's not good. If Alex lags uh, his next game, we're going to have to go ahead and... Uh, he might have to he might have to sit out. Because that's a, that was a free kill for him. Good shit, Caleb. Picking up another kill. 1-3, oh two. Caleb's really going to have to push hard for these last two kills to at least tie up this game. Round, per se. Even if he, he can't tie the game. He's gotta tie the round if he wants to bring this back though. And I think that's gonna be it. Unfortunate. Caleb struggling to bring this game back. He still has super. He could theoretically get a kill or two. He doesn't have enough time, though. He only has, like, ten seconds left on the board. Seven seconds left. I think that's going to be it for him. I think Alex brought this game. Uh, he definitely took advantage. He cleaned up a kill there. Alex definitely took the advantage of him using Outbreak and a Sniper, and he just went balls deep with a Thorn and a Fell Winters. Good stuff, both of you. Um, good, good stuff. Oh, we're on to game two already. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any uh, any audio from Wife Kisser's screen anyways, but uh, using the Frigid Jackal, what a choice. I, I mean, that's, that's kind of a flex, I'm not going to lie. We're going into a Sniper battle. Already have one kill on the board, Scrota, with a clean little snipe there. Not not shabby at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that's up the whole way. I'm going to have to turn up the audio as well in my sound settings. Running down through mid, past the heavy. 3-3, three, three. another little engagement here. Misses a snipe, also misses a nade, both of them. It seems like he might be out of ammo. This is clearly a disadvantage for you, boy Scrota, and that's going to be another Wait, kill. You hear me? Why are you in this call? Oh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> we got a little bit of abrupt freaking uh, entrance there by Alex. How do I leave? Can you just disconnect? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Scrota's stream is lagging just a tad. Unfortunately, Wife Kisser's uh, audio is not a thing. That's kind of sad. We're into another engagement. This seems to be a very close range. Scrota doesn't want to be in this fight. He's going to go ahead and Icarus dash out of there. Probably try to grab another snipe on uh, Wife Kisser here. Maybe not. 3-2. Wife Kisser has the advantage. Theoretically, if Wife Kisser wanted to win this round, all he'd have to do is run away. That is going to be another kill. 2-2 two, two on the board with 30 seconds left. That is quite, quite a something to see. This is going to be a very close game by the looks of it. We're going to pop on over to Joe's again, see if it's lagging yet. It's not. We're good. At least we got audio on this side. I'll have to turn it up, though. Scrota looking for uh, Wife Kisser. Wife Kisser's playing the distance game because he has snipe ammo. Misses a snipe. Uh, Scrota just about chokes that kill, and it's going to be Scrota's round one. Good stuff. There we go, Scrota. Scrota swapping over, maybe to Mindbenders, yes. 
Good stuff. We got a little message in the chat there by uh, by Loose Cannon. Making his way into the tournament there. Okay. I do like this uh, shader on his spare rations. It's kind of nice. Going in with the pump. Yes, uh, he did not expect that one, I don't think. Wife Kisser was a little surprised by that Mindbenders, I do believe. He's going to not go ahead and swap. He's still using the same loadout. Scrotal running in with his Mindbender, closing the distance. And he grabs yet another kill. I look for Wife Kisser to maybe swap loadouts here. If he doesn't, he might be in for a... Might be in for a round two loss. Unless he can pick up kills with this Frigid Jackal, which he might be able to do. Or he may not be able to do, because the uh, Frigid Jackal is quite a terrible weapon. I think he did it just for the memes. But let's see. Maybe he can. Maybe he'll show us up, and it'll be a good weapon. It does have quick draw, so I mean that's that's one thing. It doesn't have snapshot though, so he's not going to win against those fights with a uh, with a beloved user, you know. Let's go to going ahead and trying to clean in or close in the gap. He is. Ah oh, man, I think we just missed it. No, we didn't. Scrota does end up picking up that kill. Unfortunately, Wife Kisser, I think, is a little nervous and he choked that punch there. I'm sure all the players are a little nervous here today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Caleb and Alex both look a little shaky and these guys look a little shaky too. I don't know why they're so nervous though. I, I, maybe it's just uh, the idea. There's a lot of uh, looming... I don't know. Um... What is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave that sentence to just dry, you know. Scrota does have his super. He is, it's four to one. I think Scrota's just gonna play the distance because he knows that if he uh, gets to engagement, he could end up throwing this this round. But it's gonna be quite hard to do that, being that he is four one with a one zero lead. We're gonna go ahead and spectate wife kiss because the stream does look a little, a little better. Yes. Unfortunate for wife kisser. Scrota has super and is uh, two two rounds ahead of him. I do believe in this man, though. He can definitely bring this back. I think he's just a little shaky, a little nervous. It's double elimination, though, so he might have his chance at redemption. Scrota probably trying to close the gap yet again. All he has to do is pop his super, and he there it is. There's the super. Almost hit him in the head there. Unfortunate for Wife Kisser, because now he's got to run. Dang. He almost actually popped off and just dropped him right out of his super. That would have been pretty nice and very important to him. Although, Scrota only got one kill with his super, so that is honestly not a big loss there. And there we go. Theoretically, if he wants to at least... There you go. Tie up the game. He can do that. It's 3-3-0-2 with a minute on the board. I think Wife Kisser can indeed bring this back. He just got to set up a good snipe. Ah, oh, he missed again. I think that's going to be another death for Wife Kisser. No, he's going to go ahead and ground pound out of there. Getting shot in the back. Setting up a rally barricade. Not even a rally. It's a uh, towering, rather. Setting up a little bit of cover for himself. Not a bad idea. I think, yep, Scrot is going to go ahead and try to push through that building with his mind benders. Still no change from uh, Wife Kisser. That's kind of surprising. I would have imagined him to uh, at least swap his weapon once this game, but it doesn't look like he's going to. He's sticking to his roots, and he's not going to let no Mindbender Rush change that. He's playing good. He's backing up. All right, that's a one-tap if he really wants to go ahead and try to push for that kill. Scrota is probably full healed back up again, unfortunately. Oh, this is going to be either a trade or maybe a win for Wife Kisser here. One of them has to get a kill and they know it. This might be a tie round if... N Let's go! Wife Kisser bringing in another round as long as he keeps his distance. Let's go! We thought the show was over and Wife Kisser's bringing it on back. Let's go. 1-2. That was a very good game. Rather round. Good stuff on both of the little, you know, participants here. That was kind of interesting there. Let's switch on over to Joe's perspective, see if uh, see if his stream's still a little laggy. No, we're good. Alright, Scrota 3 peeking like a little cheese head here. It is something that's in the game, so, you know, I allow it. Unfortunately, he misses both snipes yet again. 
If I were wife, wife kisser, I would be reconsidering using a uh, shotgun or a sniper. I like it though. I like that he's sticking to his roots and he's trying to do it. He is not giving up. He still ended up cleaning up a kill there, so that's pretty pretty nice. There you go. There's wife kisser with a nice snipe right out of the freaking spawn. That was a very nice shot indeed, Skoda. Very, very nice shot. If uh, if Wife Kisser can continue hitting those nice snipes like that, his Frigid Jackal will actually be very useful to him. Uh, that's definitely a kill for Wife Kisser, yeah. As soon as he missed both of those Mind Mender shots, it was about to round, yeah. It's 1-4, one, 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one, Scrota, and I think he's going to end up choking this round. We only have 40 seconds left, 1-4. Good stuff, Wife Kisser. Bringing it home, dude. I don't know what uh, Scrota really is choking here this last, uh, these last two rounds. Not even the last two. I'd say this round. He really, really choked. There's a kill. Good stuff, Scrota. 0 3 2 1. No, oh, no. He's taunting him. Scrota hitting him with the uh, little bit of a shake there. Wife Kisser trying to get some distance. Missing a nade. They both push in. Very, very weak on both parties. Alrighty. Good stuff, Wife Kisser. There was only one second left on the board and he tied it up 2 2. Screw to turning down his look sensitivity. Alright. This is going to be a very close game by the looks of it. It's already 2 2. Did not expect that. The, those first two rounds went quick for Wife Kisser. They were not looking good for him, but he brought this back. He's letting you know that he is not going to get out of this tournament without a freaking fight. This commentary is very hard, but I, I'm trying, guys. I shall get better. Scrota with a three-peak. He knows if he doesn't three-peak, he's, he's, he's going to risk getting headshot as soon as he walks around that corner. Uh-oh. Wife Kisser giving up the distance. Not, not good. Not good at all. He's still he's still ADS with the snipe, watching for Scrota. Don't know if that's the greatest idea, but he's gonna try it anyways. And he's gonna whiff his super. Unfortunate for him, because Scrota does in fact have his. If I were Wife Kisser in this situation, I would have definitely saved my super. Not the best play. Good stuff though. Good stuff. Still redeeming himself a little bit there with the uh, the ground melee there. Scrota can tie this up, though, for, you know, maybe some overtime for the flag, you know? It's very, very, very possible that that will happen, being that he does have a super, and likely only able to get one kill with it. Maybe none. Maybe Wife Kisser will be able to escape it. Good, good plays by Wife Kisser so far. He's going, he might actually escape the super. He's running. He's letting you know he's not going down without a fight, and he still ends up dying. That was not a bad play by Wife Kisser, though. That's all he could do is run away from that. Because I don't think he had any ammo. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and just stay on Scrota's screen, because uh, I feel like if at the time I switch, we'll probably miss the fight. Maybe not. Let's switch real quick. Alright, we're back over to Wife Kisser's. No audio, sad times. All right, so Wife Kisser gave up the control of the flag. Not good at all. He's going to wait for that Mindbenders, yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, Scrota's going to grab this kill, I think. If I were Wife Kisser, I would have went above and ground pounded him. Yep, that's it. That's round. Unfortunate. That was a very good game and a very good comeback by Wife Kisser. Still choking the game, but it was, you know, that was a great fucking game. Not too shabby at all. Good. Okay. All right, we're gonna spectate Mermaid Man for this first first kill or two here. Let's see what happens. Mermaid Man keeping his distance. He knows he has to keep his distance with his Revoker in order to probably, you know, clutch this up and win this round. We have a shotgun. Yes, Luce is using a shotgun and a AR. So this might be a kind of hard fight for uh, Thaddeus or Mermaid Man here. I want to go ahead and turn out, tell everyone to turn up their audio as well next time we play here. Don't let me forget that when I pop back into tor locker room chat, tell them to turn up their game audio. Loose 
lose both of them weak. Nar or, uh, Mermaid Man's gonna take the L here if he stands in that nade for too long. Good, good play by uh, dropping the healing rift. Because if he wouldn't have, he probably would have, probably would have dropped alive there. You got a minute left. They are both playing very passively, looking to close the gap loose here with his seven seraph shotgun. Thaddeus trying to keep it on his head, dropping him there. Thaddeus, what are you doing, my man? Bad sniper, by the way. That was a good snipe. Holy, tracking his head the whole time. All right, we got 35 seconds left of this round. Luce has to get a kill here to at least tie this round. Let's pop on over to Luce Cannon's side of the stream. He's trying to, to flinch Mermaid Man. He's going to go ahead and drop that kill. There you go. It's 3-3. 20 seconds left. Are we going to go into overtime? Who has control of the flag? That is going to be Luce Cannon unless he gives it up. And it looks like he is. Not a good, not a good play by Luce here. Good idea. Good idea. Going back down to maybe control here. Okay. Mermaid Man does not even ha remotely have the control of this objective. Unless he is sniping through. Yeah, he is. This is definitely Luce's kill here. Definitely Luce's kill. That's going to be it for Mermaid Man. Yes, sir. Luce cleaning up round one. Good stuff. Super Meat Boy in the chat. Let's absolutely just go, bro. This is a good game so far. I like this. Mermaid Man got that snipe I did not expect. We're going to go ahead and swap back over to Mermaid Man just to see how he goes here. Will he get this first little snipe? Let's see. That was a great snipe by Mermaid Man. Hopefully we'll see more of those from him. This is cute. <laughs> What's cute, bro? Oh, <laughs> Lucy, Lucy cheering on Luce. That's funny. All right. Batty is trying to look for uh, map control here on Loose Cannon. I don't think he knows where he's at exactly. Three peeking. Three peeking. Okay, not a bad idea. I wish I knew when they were weapon swapping. Sometimes I can catch it. Loose still running that 7 Seraph, so he hasn't swapped yet. I don't look for him to uh, get a cheer for your bro. Yeah, you do, Poggers. Good stuff. All right, Luce grabbing that first kill with the Seven Seraph shotgun. Thaddeus slash Mermaid Man knows that he has to keep his distance on uh, Luce here because Luce is a very aggressive shotgunner. He's trying to trying to keep distance with that Revoker, which is a very very good idea and good play by him. Otherwise, he would probably be losing this uh, this round entirely by a mile. Swapping on over to Agent Gospel. Not the greatest role in that ancient gospel, may I add, but it is still a rather good weapon in general. That's a free snipe. He, If he swapped right there and shot him with a shoddy, he would have probably cleaned him up. Bad grenade choice. Should have used a uh, vortex grenade, but uh, who am I to say? Luce already out of that fight and ready to fight him again. Oh, no. What is the live? Did we lose one? Yeah, it's 2-4. Luce has his super as well. This is definitely his round. For, mm, unfortunate, man. That first round went really well for Mermaid Man. Starting off strong with that snipe, and then... He's, he's, he's dropping his momentum now, boys. He still has the means to bring this back, and I, I, I hope that he is enjoying playing. It seems like he is with the emote there. Good stuff. We're going to swap back over to Luce Cannon. Let's see how he is going to go about using this super. Maybe, maybe he won't even use it at all. It's not it's not uh, against loose to uh, maybe not use a super, just to be a gentleman, you know? It seems like Thaddeus did indeed switch to his shotgun. I didn't see which shotgun he chose, but he definitely did. Closing the distance there. They both have their super. This is definitely a round for either one of them. Again, let's get in chat. Let's get some let's get some cheering on. Who's for, who's for freaking loose and who's for TJ? Let's go. Keep it going. We're spectating loose right now, just for uh, any, uh, if, you, if you didn't know. He's going to drop Mermaid Man here. Mermaid Man giving up a kill. Unfortunate. Good play to try to heal himself there, but loose was a little bit ahead of you and he uh, shut you down there. That would not have been a bad place for a Dawn Blade. Because he can definitely win with his Dawn Blade. Good, good snipe with the sword there. It's one minute, and we have two lives each. Loose, loose, loose. All right, we got a lot of looses. Where's those Where's those mermaid mans? Where's those Thaddeuses? 
That he is flying through the air, trying to escape this Fist of Havoc. He just might do it if he jumps over that wall. Keep the momentum, my friend. You got this. Oh, he, he's going to escape the Fist of Havoc. Let's go. Pop with Thad with a very, very big play there. That was, that was the most important thing he could have done for this round. Now if he just plays it smart, he can grab this kill. Yeah, back up, back up. Fatty is definitely able to get this round if he if he doesn't do anything silly here. He has control of zone as well as a shotgun. And that, is, that zone's very hard to push if you have a shotgun on it. Has an enemy there. Uh-oh, he's giving up he's giving up control now. Not good, not good. He's gotta he's gotta really, really go. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Unfortunate, man. That was a very close, close, close round. Close round. 3-0. Almost. Almost winning that round. That was a very, very, very good game, guys. There. Yeah, we're good. Audio's fine. Let's go wine gum. Okay, we got a wine gum. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the battle of the shoulder bashes in this game. Both of them using bottom tree sentinel. Cannot say I am surprised there. <laughs> Winegum trying to clean up the kill with the Monte Carlo so he can again get his shoulder bash. Already has it though, to be honest. So, But that is definitely why he chose to use shoulder bash. If Nard would have put one shot on Winegum there, it would have, you know, shut him down. Nard trying to close in that gap again with the shoulder bash. I'm just trying to find his fitting, his his place, his footing, rather, not fitting. Both of them using the same lane, I do believe. They're using almost the exact same loadout, rather. Well, they're playing the exact same way, I guess, with that super. Which is fair. How else would you play it, really? Wingum, not bad with the fusion. I honestly did not expect him to use a fusion, but it's, uh... Or, rather, I didn't expect it to be good. It's not bad though. It's 3-3, 30 seconds left on the board. First game in, or first round in. Who will be cleaning up this round? I I would imagine. Actually, I guess I, I can't even take a guess, really. Both of them are playing uh, pretty good here. Against each other anyways, you know? Nard trying to get on that right side, I do believe, yeah. Oh, I didn't even, ex I didn't see that. That was, that was a uh, surprising little play there. Good stuff on Nard's part. Cleaning up round one. I think this is going to be a long game. I'm not going to lie. This might be a five round game. You trailed the enemy. <laughs> what did, what did Winecom just say? Alright. Trying to shoot him from the distance there. That would have probably done exactly two damage. but Keeping that pressure on him I guess nonetheless. I've never seen this Monte Carlo ornament, by the way. It's kind of it's kind of clean looking. I like it. Both of them just really trying to play these shorter bashes. I do believe. I mean, Nard definitely is because he wanted to use insurmountable with a uh, fist of havoc. So I think that that's what that was his plan. I'm glad that we uh, we caught him there because that would have been kind of annoying. Alright, that might be a kill, no? Nard running around, probably trying to get the shoulder bash. No, he's still there. He is still on the staircase, just waiting. One minute. You'll he's probably got his, his sprint charged up so he can get a kill with his uh, shoulder bash. I can hear Nard moving around through uh, Winegum's side here. He's going back into the back of the map. I'm going to call that trees, I guess. We'll call that trees from here on out. Both of them just trying to play these stairs for some reason. I, I feel like a better play would probably be to go down to zone. Win or lose, this oh, is no. The toxicity. No. The brother game. This finally, you know, it's the sibling rivalry here. We would have had two sibling rivalries if Cole would have showed up. Goddamn Cole. Uh, unfortunate. This is literally a battle of shoulder charges. Unfortunate. And they're both being toxic. Man, oh man. This is going to be a long game. 0-2. Zero, 
Although, if Nard keeps squeaking out the dubs, it might not be. Whoever Nard goes against, may I have, uh... God rest your soul. <laughs> God rest your soul, bro. Using freaking shoulder bashes out here. I need Thaddeus. I need Thaddeus for my commentary. I'm starting to get tired. Alright, we're inside yet again on the stairs. Fighting on the stairs again with the shoulder bashes. Winegum is... You can tell in his movement he is very tired of this already. He wants to he wants to speed this game up and not have it just be shoulder bashes. You can tell by the way he's playing. Here comes Nard with a shotgun or a shoulder charge. Either way. He's keeping the distance. Keeping the distance. Not a bad idea by Nard. Backpedaling super hard. Finds his way back into the building. Good play by Nard. Winecomb's coming to try to push, but I think Nard is going to slide down with the shotgun and close. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. Winecomb knowing exactly what he was trying to bait out. Backs up. Goes back to uh, Silo here. All right. Not a bad play by Winecomb. Trying to get outside. Trying to maximize the efficiency of his Monte Carlo. Nard really looking for... Shotgun slash shoulder cha charges, so I think Wango knows exactly what he wants to do. Let's just keep the distance there. This could be a round for either of them. They both have super at the exact same time. All right, and that's this is gonna be something. Battle of the Sentinels. Let's see who is the better, Captain America. Uh, it looks like it might be Nard. Nard's gonna take out this game. I guarantee it. Um. I mean, I guess I shouldn't. We still got 20 seconds left on the board. It's 3-4. Winegum could shorter bash him or whatever Winegum chooses to do here. But he got to do something. So he doesn't get 3-0'd by his younger brother here. Winegum is looking for this kill. He knows he needs it. But Nard is not going to let him have it. Ah, uh, if we had had one more second on the clock, Nard would have... Or Winegum would have brought it at least to a 3-1. Or a 2-1, I guess. Good game, both of them. Good stuff, sir. Alright, I go to AI. Watch it. Alright, Wife Kisser starting out here with the Frigid Jackal. Hopefully he'll uh, play a little better here with this sniper. Looking for a quick with, sniper. Uh, Siva Nanites, bro. We got that. <laughs> he is using Siva Nanites, dude. It's a very and strange pick. What is that? Uh, is that the auto rifle from the Guardian? That is Omniscient Eye. That is a sniper. Oh, okay. They all look the same. I don't know. Why they, they do, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like, Either way, this is going to be a probably slow round because they both are using snipers. Hey, it'll be exciting, hey, though. Hey, I see. Oh, oh, oh. We have the first engagement. Two pots on the hand cannon. Looks like. Uh, He's hey, looking for the ground two. pound. He has a healing rift. Wave Kisser knows he needs to back up. All right. Ooh, that's going to be a first kill by by Lonely AI. Not a bad play using Arc Soul, not going to lie. That's going to really help him a lot in his engagements. It's gonna be a hard one to counter, not gonna lie. See, um, Wife Kisser has a sniper rifle, so you know he has the upper hand if he doesn't mm -hmm. want to challenge him. Although, I think the only the only problem here is is that Caleb also has a lot of range, so I think it would be yeah. better if Wife Kisser swapped to a shotgun and just tried to close distance on him. Ooh. There we go. It's three, three, three tap 50 seconds left. That was a three tap with Luna's How. That was pretty clean. If this gets exciting, I'm gonna throw my chair back and you're just gonna hear me fall on the ground. <laughs> All right. All right, we got Caleb. Oof, heavy. Oof, skippy for the heavy. What kind of play is this? Unless he's going to Yeah, we're not the no heavy. heavy. No heavy allowed. It's banned. Oh, no heavy? Yeah. Right. I was going to shoot somebody, but that would be funny as fuck though. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. 3-3, three, three, 30 seconds left. Both of them trying to keep distance on each other. I don't know if that's the play for Wife Kisser though. Being that he has Lunas as well as a sniper. Uh Caleb has, yeah. Also, is uh, three peaking a lot, or did you like not? Three peaking's that? okay, it's whatever. Not everyone even does it, anyways. I'm surprised these chaps are doing it. <clears throat> it seems that uh, AI is just holding out. Yeah, it it's, it's going to be a two-three live advantage win for uh, for Caleb there. That was a good round. That was a very good round indeed. Caleb finally taking advantage of his Siva Siva Nanite weapon, <laughs> keeping the distance with his sniper as well. I'm gonna go ahead and on? swap perspectives here. Isn't uh, pulse rifles still good in this meta? Pulse rifles are definitely still good, and it and for one v ones, I think anything can be good as long as you play right. 
Caleb is keeping distance, and he, if he wasn't, he'd be losing. In his first game, he lost against a Thorn shotgun because he was not keeping distance. Yeah, Thorn's pretty, uh, honestly a big nuisance. You just have to it figure is, out yeah. where to hide, and then hide if you... Because at that point, either you go up to them, and if they land a couple more shots, you're kind of dead, or you have to be quick and shoot them first. I mean, mm -hmm. it kind of forces your hand unless you run off. And that's what I do. I just typically run off. Like, yeah, you know, especially when you're using the loadout. He is. He has so much range. He has to play the range or he's going to lose. So switch to now, since you're watching yeah. And All right. We got a we got an arc bolt made. Not a no, bad choice. Get, you had 12 viewers earlier. I think I do these more. I think I'm getting you more views of anything. I think. I mean, that's it's good, though. It's fucking awesome. I, I was hoping. All right. This is a, a nice little engagement here. Both of them half half shield. Wife kisser still just, low, peaking with low yeah, shield. Shooting peak, shooting peak. He's trying to like one of them down. Uh huh. Yeah, I just woke up. I'm like, I'm dead. uh, oh, Caleb should have had that kill there. He choked that one. Not, not bad Whoa. though. That was a very, very bad play by Caleb and a great play by Wife kisser picking up that kill Me by back Sometimes doesn't pay off. You, no. you just to, you just gotta stick to the ground. Oh, Wife kisser just barely missing that head. Got another Arc Soul play, not a bad idea by Caleb. He can win this engagement as long as he plays it right, and he did not play it right. Luna's how absolutely cleaning up this they uh, the, outbreak. They it, or is that a different gun they I'm not it? sure. I think was it the Not Forgotten or something like that? that Maybe. Happened? There's Not Forgotten and Luna's. Both of them are like the same gun almost. One for one. One one. That was. This is gonna be a slow game, but a uh, good one nonetheless for both of them. They're both playing very well. It's like Wife Casers playing the. I don't. I don't wanna say he's playing the methodical game, but it seems like he is. But I think AI is like kind of like cutting. Short I think they both game. are, but but Caleb gets a little impatient. Oh, okay. That's what I would say, right? It seems like they're yeah. both trying to keep that distance, but one of them I always mean, ends up getting impatient and rushing and dying. Yeah, I think Wife Kisser, like is very chill, so I think he has that going for him, so he, he mm -hmm. won't, like, push Yeah, him. you can definitely tell uh, in Lonely AI has a little bit of shaky in his uh, aim here. Yeah, I think it might have a little bit too much of a DPI. I think that's what usually happens. It's that, that or he's nervous. I'm thinking he's nervous. He's got them cold hands. Whiffing another two snipes, unfortunate. Those were two pretty free snipes as well. Oh, both of them one tap right now. They both, Fun well... Fact. If you stay, if you stand still as a sniper of TF2, you're more likely to hit your shots than when you move. <laughs> yeah, I'll yes. you about it. Another cool. kill by Wife Kids with the ground pound into a what? Uh, punch there? Shot? I don't, I didn't see exactly what killed him. It was a melee combo. I think if anything, Wife Kids needs to stand still when he slams and let AI go towards his cross. Yes. If in, you know, you're moving, if you're, moving, you're not gonna hit anything. Body shot. Let's see if we can clean him up with that Lunas. Oh, this is it. Yep. Two, I four. I think Wife Kiss is going to take this victory. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten his abilities back. I know he has a super base grenade in his melee. Mm -hmm. he's Ooh, player. not a good play by, by in Lonely there. I don't know if he was baiting out a sniper, just letting it happen. Either way, this is a kill for in Lonely if he doesn't choke it. It's like AI gets him low, but he doesn't finish him off. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's very shaky. He looks very nervous. That first round, he absolutely decimated Wife Kisser. Uh, both of them missing a lot of shots, but Wife Kisser does indeed clean it up. Can you pull out the 360 no scope? Oh, never there mind. it is. 1-4, <laughs> one, 1-2, one to is, and that's Wife Kisser in the lead. We're going to swap back over to Wife Kisser for the rest of this game, I think. I guess I'll switch back to the AI. Frigid Jackal. Still using that Frigid Jackal. Trying to hit snipes with it. Has he hit one? I think he said bodies. He said bodies he and cleaned up with him. He has to hit heads though. I think that's the part that's kind of making him choke. Mm -hmm. He's killing him, man. Yeah. yeah oh, he hit another body. Damn, he wasted that second shot though. I think he's learning. He's learning. He's learning like he's standing still more often watching his shooting. Uh -huh. He's stand still, so he's learning. Let's see if he's not. I hope not. Ooh, Maybe he's smoking. not watching the stream in the background. Bad, 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 bad play by by wife oh, kisser. Dude, Terrible play. Oh, dude, needs to come in. A needs to come with the grenade toss, get him away from the yeah, shield. Yeah, he'd be it. That'd be the round right He's there with the kill. Tools. He has arc soul and pulse rifle. He 
You can definitely finish him out with an arc bolt or something. Yeah. Man, he, he was uh he was one. That was a free kill. Well, and that's gonna super. be a lost super. Oh. No, it isn't. He wasted yeah. his. Unfortunate for Wife Ooh, Kisser. I just saw that corner of my eye <laughs> looking at how you messed up the super. Holy crap. That's unfortunate. He cast it a little bit too close to a wall and ended up bouncing right into it. Alright, is this gonna be a snipe? No, not quite. That was some good movement by Ann Lonely. There's a body. All you need to do, Wife Kisser, is get that head, and that's a kill. And he's gonna ground pound him and maybe finish him off. Oh, I think that's about it. Rifle. Come on, you got this. ADS, ADS. That uh, is a kill. 3, 3, 2, 1. 30 seconds left on the clock. We got this, boys. Wife Kisser or Caleb. Can we get it in the chat? Who is going to win this round game? I'm pretty sure AI is having his little, like... I won't say fits, but he's having like those moments where he's just kind of like laughing and then like giggling. Maybe. Like, yeah, he's like trying to like figure out what to do. And that's why he like, yeah. you know, he compensates. Or, oh, like, you know, good to, play like, with the play. nade, getting him out of that uh that wall there. Making him back up. But, he's going to take it, advantage yeah. of his low health and push in. Good play by Wife Kisser and ooh, grabs ooh, another yeah. kill. I think that's going to be the round. There's five seconds left and it's 3-2. Not bad playing by either one of them. So I think if anything, I need to play to his strengths and ability. He not once. Uh huh. Him, like, yeah, I didn't see him. I didn't see him clean up with a nade, and he he lowered him a lot and just didn't push. Unfortunate for Caleb. To your battles wisely. He's a good sniper though, for the most part. All right, so we're starting off here in Rusted Lands. Sweet business. What a choice, dude. Someone has revoker. Yeah, yeah, and we got Mermaid Man with a revoker and Reckless Oracle. Very odd it's weapon choice there as well. These guys are having fun though. I'm glad that they're not just using some like weird metal weapons, you know? Yeah, they're having a good time. Like, vale, something my dude, I have returned. Hey Vale. What is up, my guy? Okay. Sweet business. <laughs> Free fire with the Actium War Raid. Oh, okay. Mermaid Man oh, missing oh, the oh, shot almost oh, though. Okay. Only by Dude, a little bit. Does he have, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, what is it called? The Ant not Antius Ward. He has Action War Rig, rig yeah. There you go, yeah. He misses a shot with the Revoker. Looks like he gets no ammo back for that. Talk about subverting the ammo. Kind he of still has so one. Oh, oh, they almost they almost traded there. That was not a bad play. Thaddeus putting up his all for this uh, annoying sweet business Action War Rig Your set up here. Lies. Throw a suppressor, then just gets in the headshots. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if there's much he can do here, if, unless he switches to a shotgun. Yeah, because at that point, um, not only does a uh, wing, wing, wing has him at a corner. Oh, I'm not him. playing Vale. I'm playing. I'm. We're doing a tournament today. This is a tournament. I'm spectating people. This is uh, Wine Gum Lad's screen here. See, I'm not playing. No, it's Wine Gum. Yeah. I keep thinking it's spilling Gundam or something. I'm just like, <laughs> what is Wine Gum here doing? He's looking at the he's ground. Holding, he's, he's holding him out because he has Revoker. He can just hit him from an angle, and I think he's like holding off. There's yeah. really not much he, uh, uh, Mermaid Man can do. I gotta turn down this volume Ooh. though, so you guys can even hear me. Looks like uh, Mermaid Man can get some shots. Puts on a healing rift. He do he did switch flat. to a shotgun. Good play by Mermaid Man. That's all he can really do here in this uh, this game. I feel bad for Mermaid Man. Not gonna lie. I'm mean, using Revoker, how bad can you feel? <laughs> nah, man, it, it, with this sweet business, there's not much you can do. The flinch has got to be out the freaking, you know? Yeah. Is that, I wonder if his thing is Masterwork, now that I think about it. I don't know. Mermaid Man just got to set up with the shotgun and just go in and grab him. That's all he can do. Veiled, thanks for the gifted sub, man. Poggers. I think, I think what Mermaid up. Man may have to do is line up a shot, but like, he might good. have to try his best during the Thank flame. you so much for the sub, man. Pog, pog, pog. Right, because, um, I mean, this is mouse and keyboard, so typically, you know, if you're flinching your ass out, you probably have a better chance of, like, hitting a shot even though you're getting flinched, because you could just drag your mouse off. Like uh-huh. But that's a matter of his skill and how he handles it. Yeah, it's so hard, either. though, because, I mean, like, the, yeah. the uh, time to kill with this thing is so fast that... He's got to be quick with it. I mean, besides that, he has another archer where, like, he either aims a little bit lower than usual, have the flinch hit him up to his head, and then shoot. That's mm -hmm. the only other way I can go and get suppressed, and he can go do anything. Both of them just playing the slow game. I think Thaddeus knows that he has to get a shotgun kill to, to, to get these rounds. So, I, I think his, his strat is just going to be camping the, the capture point until Nard has to, or not Nard, Wangum has to push. 
which is not a terrible idea. Drawing out the rounds. If he really wants to win, it's a great idea. We didn't have to do a... Uh, what's it called? Mm, melee not a good play. Not a good play. That's going to probably be the round there. Yeah. Looks like he's switching to a Dust Blues. Is he? Dust Rock Blues? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I thought he already switched to a shotgun. I guess he didn't. Oh, uh, both so low if, there. That's definitely going to be the round. I think if anything, if, if Rimmerman can move just a little bit to throw off his aim, I think he can pull up kills. I think, I think so like, as well, if he's sniping. But like, other than that, I think his only other option is shotgunning. That's going to be the round there. That's just, that's going to secure 2-0 for uh, Winegum. Oh, you stem, uh, dash Yeah, there you go. That's how he's going to win. If he keeps playing like that, he can get these these rounds. I think right what now were you wondering, Vale? I think he needs to start reading his opponents, uh, so he can do a comeback. Yeah, he's just he's just gotta play against the uh, sweet business. All right, we got two oh two minutes left. Just started this round. Another up. sub. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Good shoot. Three months sub with the freaking veil bucket. Ooh, he got him with the oh, he did. Ooh. He got him with a suppression nade. I don't My know how God. He, I think it bounced back. I think that's what happened. Well, we found uh, Winegum's best strategy using Actium with a sweet business, man. It's a very hard one to counter. It's, it's, uh, I'm sure it's not the most fun to play against, but again, all Thaddeus has to do is try to get, get in there with a shotgun. And there's not much he can do. If he can use the corner shift's advantage and just start closing the gap, he can definitely use it. Yeah, Winegum's aim lock is not very great. He misses a lot, so. But uh, also, you know, Thaddeus just throwing his super away like that. Not good, not good. Oh, he tried for the shoulder charge, and Thaddeus did still indeed pick up the kill. Now, Winegum, it's going to take a lot for him to lose this game because he does still have Sentinel. Thaddeus yeah. really got to be on his toes here. Because either he could put one more kill and then start gliding around at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another way to win it. Oh, that's it. If he has Fell Winters with uh, Vorpal, he might be able to pick it up. That's oh, that's almost a kill. Oh, he got stuck at the dump, but he made it. Keep the dodges up, man. Keep the dodges slide, up. You got slide. this. Oh, I, that's I, it. I, that's I, it. He survived it. Let's oh, go. Good play by Thaddeus. Almost choking, though. All right, he's he's playing good, playing good. He's I think he's going to cap for the objective. If he holds that objective, oh, that's it! Oh, 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 finish him up! Throw that grenade, bro! Throw that oh, grenade! Oh no! Oh, no, almost finish him! No bad play! No, Dang! Auto, man. That's it, man! He should have just waited it out. He had flag. It was three three. Unfortunate. I don't uh, I don't stream on mixer really, man. All right, let's pop back into uh, locker room chat. That was a very good round by both of them. Unfortunate that he choked that, though. All right, we're starting out round two. Yeah, round two of losers brackets here with Alex and Winegum on burnout. Fresh out of spawn, this man is, and he throwing a nade, blocking off that lane for him. Not a bad play by uh, by Alex. Alex was, yeah, final is distant shore, yes. I for sure thought Alex was going to get swooped through this freaking uh, tournament, but he's doing pretty dang good. Surprising, dude. I'm glad that he's playing really well. You just wait for him to, like, do something and then probably just, like, like snap at him. Like that. He's got to stay inside, I would say. Alex does, anyways. He's got to try to hold the inside because that's where most of the corners are for the shotguns. Oh, that's a shot. No. Oh, that's what we that's what Fusion Rifles are here for. Fusion Rifles are very strong, definitely. He's got one shot, though. So. Yeah, but if you're going to reach somebody and the Fusion Rifles are going to charge you, you might have to push the button back. Yeah, this man's got to... Alex really got to hold the corners. He's playing outside. Not the greatest idea, in my opinion. This might be a battle with... with. Honestly, this might be a battle of wits because of the freaking, uh, they just both have to keep away from each other. Well, I Alex, Alex has to close the gap for sure. Yeah, he might use his super and just, like, get him in a corner. 
All Alex really has to do is get a first kill and then just hide. Ammo is a problem. What? Uh oh. Uh oh, he missed. This is definitely Alex's kill. Good stuff, Alex. Now it's 3 3. Probably going to go into overtime. Good play by Alex. He knew that he had to get a kill to uh, preserve this round for him. Alex playing outside. Not a good idea. He has to... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that's going to be a kill, I think, for Alex. Or for Weingum. Maybe not. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Go back. Dang. Should have turned around, ran up that wall, and started on zone. Unfortunate, though. He could have tossed a nade over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're going to commit, or if you're going to peak that, that sweet business, you got to commit to it, for sure. No second thoughts when you run out of that corner, because you're going to get shredded. Wangum honestly might take this tourney just using this gun, bro. So the winner of this plays against the final winner? No. There's still one more loser. Well, maybe, actually. No, it's Wife Kisser and Wine, or whoever wins this, I guess. I feel like it's probably going to be Wine, though, because this sweet business is pretty strong. Alex is not doing Ooh. bad, though. There we what go. There? He, he, got he got stuck on the, uh, the tumble dryer uh, thing. Okay, he doesn't know where Alex is. Yes, he does. Oh, that's a that's Whoa, almost that? a kill, man. He canceled it. Good play by Alex, Ooh, saving a super. He's learning, bro. This is the fun part when they start learning. No, they play again. Yeah, whoever wins Ooh. plays against wife. I'm not even gonna say Wine's gonna win this because both of them are playing very well against each other. Ooh. Alex playing very smart. He needs to keep that distance. It's three four. Wine is the one who needs to close in because he is at a disadvantage right now, life wise. Not a good idea, Alex. Back off. Good, good play. Not a good idea. Oh, that's a one. That's a one. Man. If he got a kill right now, that, that cements his win. But it's not worth pushing. Mm, that's it. Man, 3-3. Going to go into overtime maybe again. He gave him the shake, bro. He gave him the shake. I'm going to go ahead and move this sub goal off of my screen. Because it's kind of in the way, isn't it? I'll just put it like right down here. Ooh, he missed three shots on the fusion. Holy crap. What happened? Yeah. Who got a kill he here? Missed, he, he missed oh, it's 2 3. His, yeah, he missed his fusion shots. Oh, it's Alex, huh? Alex got this uh, lead here. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's no. 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 No, it's 2 2 overtime again. Alex needs to play this life advantage. I don't know if he's ever played survival. Dude, okay, one of them has to get super again eventually. Oh, this is it. This is Alex's. Oh, this is Alex if he heals. Oh, no, that's the prince that might kill him. No, this is a kill. Uh, no, it's no, not. No. Oh, yes, it is. That snipe with the fell winters. My lord. Alex is not terrible at this game, bro. I really thought he wasn't the greatest, but he's, he's performing man, well. Exactly. Don't put him down, dude. Until you see him freaking going at it. He's got yeah. super again. Super great call by Alex. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Shit, he got Finally it got that kill, dude. <laughs> Finally got that kill with the Chaos Reach. Now all he's got to do is keep his distance. Well, it seems like he's playing aggressive. Not a great idea. You know, I respect it either way. At least Alex, you know, he's making the game exciting. He doesn't have to. He could literally get a kill and run away, but he's at least making it exciting, I guess. So, uh, Wangum has a super ready. Yes. Now, with Geo Mag, I wonder how much of a difference that's going to be. He, he, uh, he's probably only at, like, half right now, so it won't charge until he's about three quarters-ish. Ooh, slap me with that shield. Yeah, unfortunate. He had Vorpal. He could have cleaned him up there. He might have Vorpal on. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I didn't see... Oh, that's probably going to be around for Alex if he keeps pushing like this. Yeah, uh, Wangum has four shots in his fusion. Not much he can do now, Alex-wise. That's a good play. Backing him off of that rally or that barricade. Still pushing again. Not a good play, man. I don't know. I, I don't know how to how to win against this. Because Weingum, I think he's just baiting him out with the fusion now. Yeah. I 
Alex's yeah, best play was getting that first kill and just running. Yeah, it's gonna be over. GG. That's a round for sure. Can't get three kills in five seconds, no way. You'd have to be a mad lad. Absolute mad lad. Oh, there's round two for Winegum. He needs to wait out his pre-fire ammo to run out. Like, it doesn't run out. He has the Axiom. It, it, it'll take like five minutes to run out. I've never watched you or I've been in your stream, but all I've been gifted. So, tr so thank you to whoever it was. Yeah, that was probably Bearded. Thank you for popping in, man. Now let's see if Alex learns from his mistakes from him being too close with that fusion rifle because I think he's I think he's like not in that instrument. Well, that's a kill. Oh, oh no! Grenade, One bro, HP, man. Unfortunate. Alex is really playing his super. He really he's using it for those those kills. Uh oh. Wangum's in a very good position here. Oh, Alex needs to stay far. away. Oh, he's pushing. Not a good idea, man. Winegum's closing. He, he's getting distance on him and charging up. Alex has to find a way to close the distance on, on Winegum without putting himself in a bad position. Because Winegum is just... He's continuously backpedaling as he needs. He needs to catch Winegum off guard or something. Like, super close. He needs to be super to finish him off on the mm -hmm. That's gonna be another kill for Winegum, yeah. I think I think Winegum's got this game. Unfortunate. Alex didn't did not do bad though, so it's, this is a very hard uh, uh, play style to counter. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Oof. Yeah, dude. Winegum's uh, his playing right now is very very hard to counter. Feels bad for Alex, man. We got sweet business for the distance and fusion rifle in case he gets close. Uh, well, GG. Unfortunate. He did play very well. Alex, Alex did way better than I expected him to. So that's that's great. He he did really good. And honestly, wine gum strat, very hard to counter. I don't even know if I could. Good luck, everyone. Yes. Oh, we got a shotgun fight right out the bat. Dude, this stream looks like complete dookie, but whatever. We got to deal with it, I guess, when we're watching Scrota and Alex, because Alex doesn't stream. I don't know why it looks so bad. Man, it, it's almost unwatchable. Maybe his bit rate. His bit rate is super low. I think it looks better in your stream than this right now on the Discord. Yeah, it looks terrible. There we go. Cleaned up a little bit. There you go. Dang, it keeps getting crap again. Oh man, this is like a lot. I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't even commentate. It looks so bad. Nah, but I gotta power through. It's off season, boys. Can't do that. <sighs> I can't see how many lives they have, bro. What is it? Three, two. Yeah. Oh no, dude. This looks terrible. He, it does look like he is, in fact, playing the waiting game, yeah. Spare rations and the mindbenders? Pretty toxic if you ask me. Man, Scrota doesn't have this bad of an internet, does he? Oh, nice. He gets, gets beavered in the game. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Oh man, this is terrible. Bro, it looks like I'm playing Minecraft with the pillow. It doesn't, yeah. It's like it I'm looking through a glass. For real. It looks like he's gonna clean up another kill. I think we already know how this game's gonna go as well. That's the sad part. Alex is do a Thor fusion rifle combo. He could just get one and I don't know why he wasn't just use Fell Winters. He could just rush with Fell Winters Thorn and clean up every kill. We're at four one, I think, right now, or three one. There's three one, yeah. Uh, we're gonna try to decipher this game. You just gotta almost listen. Yeah, it's three one. Hopefully, whoever Scrota goes against, they'll have a good stream, you know? Here we go, I cleaned up some. 
say that and it goes down to like Minecraft dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing Minecraft like nonstop. <laughs> now I'm just waiting right. for Death in the new season. I know, it's gonna be exciting. I'm super excited for that. Future Red Bull missed! Throws a grenade, gets him out of the corner spot. Ooh, he misses a shot. With the shotgun, and it was super far away as well. That was not a good play. Alex falls off the map! No Oh way. no, Rip. bro. Can we get an F in chat, though? F yeah, chat? let's get an F for that one, boys. <laughs> Sad times for Alex, dude. Yeah, let's go to hit him with the uh. Oh, he oh. missed three shots with the shot. Trying to get him with the fusion. It's a celestial fire. Oh. Both one shot. Ah, oh, and they oh, trade. Good three. trade. Oh, he misses with that mind bend. Now we have Bell with you. Might have reached a little bit. Hashtag more. not a gamer. I like that the stream cleaned up. It looks real nice now. Okay. I do like this map. This is a good, good map. I'm glad that uh, everyone had a rather similar choice of maps here that I would have. Yeah, how does he have his super already? That's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's, he has G he has Geo Mags. Good play. We thought it was gonna be stupid, oh. and it is. But <laughs> unfortunate. The only thing that he does have going for him with Chaos Reach is that you can uh, you can cancel it and still have a lot of the charge left. Really? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he just taps him. He just... Good Mindbender skill. Unfortunate that uh, Alex decided for some reason to switch over to a fusion. Maybe he'll switch to the Fell Winters. Uh, obviously, we can't see though, so. Maybe he's trying to be quirky and different, you know? Yeah. Still using the fusion. I, I admire the, uh, the uniqueness there of that choice, but. I I can't wait for fusions to be meta again. Like, I don't. Uh, I Ooh. Fusions are imagine, imagine strong. Imagine shooting on, uh, on a shotgun ape in the crucible. You can if you use uh, Aaron Cell. Aaron Cell is still really good. I think I've gotten some god rolls out of it. I think I have one called. Well, it's a vortex with like I think lead from gold or something like. There's some other perks I got. Mm -hmm. Geo mags wasn't a bad play because you do get that uh, that free super at the end, and you can again also cancel it. So theoretically, he could have tons of chaos reaches, but. Doesn't matter if you're missing it. I wonder if he has a... That's gonna be a kill out of Alex if he... Yeah. Yep, oh. good, good kill. He did switch to Felwinters. Good play by Alex. He might be able to bring this bring this game back because of that. I wonder if he's... Is he using Dawnblade or is he using the... the he is using Dawnblade, Dawn yeah. Alex, gotta keep running. Oh, he hit him there with one. He lost it? Oh. Alex he putting himself out. in a terrible <laughs> position. He made himself he way no open. Way. Oh, he's hiding behind the rock. Not a bad play. Oh, and he misses. Oh, Switch to the shot. Oh, oh my God, God bro. Dude, he played him like a fiddle. He did. What a play, dude. Oh, snap. What a play by Alex, man. That was impressive. See, I thought he was still stuck inside. And I didn't know. Nothing. Oh, out. no. Oh. He, I, I thought that was going to be another kill by Alex, dude. Where is this coming from? What? Alex is like, you know, he, he has his super weird. again, bro. This man got his super in two rounds twice. Dude, that's nutty. He's gonna try to go ahead and line up that chaos reach, I, I think. If actually, if he was smart, he would have saved it because all he has to do is save it and use it as a defensive tool. If uh, the Skrota starts rushing him for this final kill, all you have to do is chaos reach him. He actually had the advantage there, and now he just gave it up. Like, he, he might have this. Oh, he, he does maybe have this. No. 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 Trade. trade. Good at trade. This is a good round. Both missing their hand cannons. It's pretty much like a slap fight. It is. Oh no! And we lost the quality. It's this one one. Okay, it's okay now. No, it should. Okay, Thorn. He's got the healing. If he's pushing him with his Felt Winters, ooh, ooh, he's missing shots. No, and that's round. That's game. Dang, Alex really put up a fight there that last round, though. That was impressive. Let's pretty wordy. If he lags too much, he's just disqualified, bro. You just gotta know how to counter it. Wife Kisser, unfortunately, here. You spectate Wife Kisser because I can't even hear him. Yeah, this game. I got Wife Kisser already, I think. I like some audio. It's nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spectate uh, Winegum here. He's using the same strat as the whole tournament, basically. <laughs> Unfortunate um, for everyone who's what, listening. What are those pair of boots that give you an overshield whenever you're shoulder charging? Exactly. Uh, I don't know. But technically, they oh, can just use Oh, man. Oh, fast as hell, too. He should have um, just... See, uh, uh, something he could have just done right there 
Is there a prize? Not for this one, man. Uh, I'll yeah, give you. you I'll, sorry, my bad. I'll give you a, like a roll or something. If you want, like Ooh. I'm giving you like, a specialized roll in Discord. He tapped him, man. He tapped him. But this was just a test run. I just wanted to make sure everything was gonna work before I put money into it, you know. What's it called? Um, because technically you could use that boots like even overshoot whenever you're like trying to do a solar charge, and then like from that break the gap and just keep you know milling them, you know. Yeah. It's not like it's if if in skull if whatever it's the skull, right? I mean, so I don't know. Let me just a strategy. I think that really high discipline, or is that strength? That's strength for me. Chase? What he's got to do right now, it's Paragon Greaves. What he's got to do is just keep, look, see, look, dude. Look he's on, Wine Gum is on corners right now. If they just, if they see it like this, if they rush him with a shotgun, he can't do anything. Ooh, dude, did you not see that? Holy shit. He went in for the hand cannon shotgun combo. He just like, he, he like whiffed his whole fusion rifle, man. That's crazy. I know. It, yeah, fusion rifles are not good for sliding around corners and one pumping. They can't do that. That's why. That's why you gotta play like that if you have a shotgun against fusion one. Fusion rifles, you have to. You know have to charge it up. You. Yeah. Yeah, you have to know you're coming for your. At least you know if you, you know someone. Shotgun is instant. Good play. Oh, who won? Uh, wife that kisser? was wife kisser. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap, dude! It's not impossible to counter. It's not. It's not hard to counter at all. Take it. The only way it's hard to counter is if white if wine gum stands outside like this. Then you just literally have to fucking burn time. Yeah, like open area, long range, you know, still open. That that works in his favor. But it looks like uh, wife kids are just putting taps in and then just like going back, tap, tap, tap. It's tap. a very good idea. Yeah. Yeah. He knows what he's, he's doing. Like, oh my god! Oh no! Oh, he Almost. missed that. He is making a um, wine gun, making it work for him, those kills. Mm hmm. He might have made his match for all we know. Hopefully. Oh, that's a good nade. A good nade. Can you follow up? Can you follow up? Yes, he. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I that think he's good, oh, good stuff. Ooh, in the back. <laughs> good stuff. He thought that barrier was blocking him, but it wasn't. Unfortunate. Oh, man. Literally, all you have to do is just step to the sides and just get a shot in. That's literally all you gotta do. Yeah, but people are overreacting. They think this is super impossible to counter. It's not. I know. That's how I'm like, I hope. Especially uh, on these I small maps, easy. Like, I think look how many with... corners there are, bro. You can't yeah. kill. I think even with the longer range maps, like maybe. Well, technically, Burnout's not long range, but at least the corridors. If you're a quick enough area. sniper, you can grab them too. But... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I think the other guys were just playing aggressive or too passively, and that's what's- Ooh! Well, in the maps that he was versing Alex, Alex was rush running into an open area and trying to push. Not a good idea at all. You have to play corners, man. You have to play corners, or you're going to lose against them. That's why I was like, I was going to say, if they had Randy's and just be far away as well, and just like bob and weave, yeah. Spam, they would have probably got him. That would have ruined his whole strategy, too. If I play against Speed Business, I would most likely not win, because I can out- Right, looks like I would closer. most likely win. I think you got it, Scrota. You just you see how he's Ooh. playing, man. Oh snap! Got Good it. stuff. Wife Kisser wants this. He knows what he's doing. He, yeah, man. I think he's been watching that. I think that's. You see, if, you, these guys, they're like, oh, it's so hard to counter. Wife Kisser's the only fucking one who's paying attention, bro. Because Wife Gun's playing the Wife Gun. Yeah, yeah. Wine Gun is playing the way he's playing before anyway. But I think like. I don't know if the map's affecting him. I'm pretty sure it is at the same time. He has a super. Oh, that's that's kill. Oh, no. Oh, he should have saved it. Yeah, saying the little like. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh. Fuck. He's getting aggressive. Yeah. He should slow down, man. That's what he wants. He wants people to rush him. This has always been his meme strat. It's working though. But with any meme is a joke, and within a joke is the punchline. <laughs> the punchline comes to an end eventually. <laughs> You're right, though. He, this well, could be the end of his punchline. Strength, he's a place with strength. I hope he's not like letting it go to his head a little bit. Yeah. He's, bro, that super, that was a round right there. He should have just yeah. saved it. That that super kills everything in one hit. He should have. He needs to use his melee. Oh, he can't use heavy, right? No. Nah. 
like that. They just be. Uh, he needs to use his uh, his melee. Just go up in the air and fake him out like that. You know. Oh, not a good Ooh. play, man. Oh. That's gonna be around, I think. Damn, wife kisser, he should have saved that super. He just waited for flag if he had to. Yeah, or just knock him out of his super. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Because fist that melee. thunder crash. He uses his melee ability. He could probably just give him the jump. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh no. No, Don't he's whip missing. Your shots. You're whipping your shots, dog. No. Play in the air. Play in the air. Is he gonna play in the air? Is he gonna play in the air? Come on, bro. Play the air. He has 20 seconds to get two kills. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Ooh, he has to push. No. It's okay. Man, if he'd have saved that super, he'd have won this game. Most of these matches, they're just, some of them are not even using their abilities. I'm like, come on, like, you, you could mm -hmm. just throw a grenade or, like, with wife kids, you could just literally just gone up in the air, dive bomb, and then oh. shot him, you know? Man. Yeah, he's pretty Almost saw a kill there. Well, he has to. Like, he, he knows that he has to win that round, he has to get a certain amount of kills because it's, it's live advantage based. As soon as he gets one kill, he could lose. Like, the opponent. Yeah, it was one more alive than I mean, why you can still take it? He, just, he, he, he got this, too. yeah. <laughs> you just can't be playing, you can't be playing the way he's playing right now. Right now, I dunk on him and a shotgun, easy. Comes sprinting around the corner, jumps in the air, ground pound, shotgun. Wombo combo. Wombo combo! <laughs> Wombo combo! Oh, he's playing distance now. Man. See, but that's what Wife Kisser was doing anyway, so that might give Wife Kisser the opportunity to do something. Right here is a play that he could get a kill on. Oh, he's backing up. No, no. Don't, don't be good. No, man. It's not worth it. Oh. No! Oh, Ooh! we got him! We committed, too! Dude, I did not expect him to get that. All right, well, it's 3-4. If 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 uh, Wife Kisser really wants this game, he can just run. He can hide. Let's see what he'll do. I don't know what he's gonna do, man. What if he falls off the map? <laughs> Bro, what if? Oh, he's running around. I don't know where he went. I think he crouched. Yeah. He's does hiding crouch somewhere. Does hide you on radar or no? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I know it does on Hunter. I don't know if it does on every character though, for sure. That's pretty cheese. I I'd imagine it does. Okay, where is Wife Kisser? He's out where he was earlier. I think he's in cave. Game. I think he's in cave. No, man. He's running around the... the you know where the flag spawns whenever it's overtime? He's in that part right now. It's called Spine uh, or whatever. It's on that little platform that... See? That's all you have to do. You have to get one kill and just fucking hide, bro. Yeah, wow, man. man Wangum is scared. He knows he has to get a kill. Oh, it feels uh, bad. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, I thought no. he was just going to throw that. Oh, man. He he just ran from him, dude. And he still gets up, and he still oh, gets up. Oh, man, bro. What a game. You still hear rock, man. Why my did I keep eating myself? I'm so I don't dumb. know. My calm um, seating pal here. Who, who are you watching? Loose your wife? I'm watching Loose. Okay. Dude, Loose the king. Damn. All right. Here we go. A source pistol, bro. All right, we got spare rations on loose here. Oh, right off the bat with some Ooh. good shots. Good shots. Ooh. Set up with a nade. Oh, no. Ooh. Loose just got Ooh. double hit with it. He's already half. He's still getting numbers there, so he still knows he's there. Is he backing up? Is he backing up? Both of them playing very aggressively. With the snipe? Almost hitting. Ooh. Both of them looking for a kill spare here. Spare ration taps, dude. Spare ration taps. I'm telling you. Wife kisser is strange pick using a sidearm. That's going to be a kill. Oh. Ooh, throw that nade, throw that Very, grenade, very close yeah. there. Damn. Obi takes my advice and uses the aerial combo. I, mm, I think this is going to be a... Uh, this might be it if uh, Wife Kisser doesn't switch that loadout. Make sure nah, you're watching him in case he switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to switch that sidearm. Yeah, it's not doing him any favors. You're ahead on line. Loose has the range with the spare. Oh, maybe. Ooh. That thing kind of rips. No, 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 no. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Speak too soon, I guess. He's gonna... I mean, sidearms are good for sh against shotguns. It's just you gotta put in that... Oh. Oh, no. He did that too. So. Okay, that's a body. That's a body. Oh, this is a kill, dude. He's reloading. He's reloading. Nah. Back to full. 
Lou's canceling the freaking uh, it's the like, push it's there. It's like they're teasing each other. It's like they get through open <laughs> and they start running That's off. That's gonna be a kill. Like, yep. really, oh yeah, he turned around. I think I think uh, kids, he had the whole MK44 man. He could have kept using that. Like that was still a good loadout, even on like the MK44. I think I think he was trying to counter the shotgun. It's working, but not good enough. Yeah, I think he definitely needs to switch out. Definitely. Yeah, no, he's playing him. Oh, he's changing. He's changing. He's changing. What's he changing to? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He might switch to Luna's how he's really thinking about it, but I think he should commit to that. I think he should too. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, he switched, he switched to Luna's how. Okay, good Luna stuff. I'm gonna switch good. perspectives. I wanna see what uh Wave Kisser how he's playing. Wave Kisser playing the outside of the map, trying to hold this angle. Here comes Luce, oh, rushing oh, with a shotgun, oh, oh, oh. setting up a barrier. He's got a nade on it, so Oh, Luce is pushing hard. <laughs> he's he's won. Ooh, he's and he grabs him. it. Wife Kisser with the first kill of round two. What are you looking at? Like, what? Not a great play by Luce there. Setting up a snipe here again in the middle lane. He does have a shot out, and he's getting pretty close. That's not Ooh, a good he play. He missed his first shot. Oh, he has a grenade down. Oh, all he has to do is ground pound. That's it. That's kill. That's no, it, it isn't. Ooh. Damn. Good play by Luce. He knew what was going on there, and he had to try to counter it, and he did. That was a good play by both of them. It's a little bit better playing by Luce there. Oh no. Oh, wife kids just committing too much and then he knows he's getting hurt. Oh, that might Ooh. be it. No, it isn't. He sets up a barrier. Oh, oh and he rushes shit. with a shotgun. Ooh, oh man, he ran right, right through that barrier. I'm gonna switch back to Luce. Let's see how Luce is doing here. I think hand cannon shotgun might be his best friend. Oh, spare thing. rations right off the bat, right off the spawn with another Ooh, kill. He's, he's, wipe he's wiping them clean. Spare rations was a great to say. Oh, Ooh, and a good snipe from freaking Life Kisser. 30 seconds on the clock, two. 30 one seconds, two, one, one, oh, overall. On lives right now, so we're going two on lives. Mm hmm. Can you get another snipe? Can you clean this he up? He needs to get another snipe, yeah. Oh, he's he's looking for it. Getting he needs surfing. to he needs to push. He could possibly get this kill. I think this is going to be Luce's round, though. He's playing, the, he's playing the long haul, he's playing the long haul. Damn, he knows he wants it. Oh man, almost. Oh no. The Frigid Jackal kill, yeah. Dude, he needs to get off that Frigid Jackal, man. I don't know what's that. Yeah, he needs to swap there. shotgun. He can't though now, because he already used the swap. Yeah. Unfortunate. He shouldn't have picked that side on from the get go. I think that's Sire might cost him the game if it's Gotta go? Okay, well Scrota, you have <laughs> Scrota, you're in the finals, man. This game's almost over. <laughs> you can't stay on just to finish the final after this game. Only be another ten minutes. Like the game's not gonna be ten minutes. You'll be done in ten minutes probably. Just, just stay on, man, because I don't want to. I don't want to dedicate a stream to that. It's only gonna be a five-minute game. Luna's Luna taps. Is he doing Luna taps? He's really holding back. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's got a. He's got a push, dude. They, they both got super, so it's either like he super, so he super, so saves it to like win a round or something. You get a clutch on it. This could very well be a. Uh, uh, this could this could be a, uh, a wife kiss around if he plays right because he has his fist of how his thunder crash and that's a very very good super I think I think he needs to like not turn around so much because I notice he's been doing that a lot turns around and then like looks back and not mind mm -hmm. up having loose on his tail he might need to start back a little bit more and then start turning I mean, it might not be a loose versus Grota game. We, we still got it. We still got the game, man. Wife has a super. He could get it. He could get a free kill on loose here. He, he, I mean, for all we know, he could be playing the long game. Wait till the timer's up and then supers and then just exactly. Yeah. Oh, if he had waited. Uh, yeah. Oh, if he rotates in, that's his. That's his cap. Oh, he didn't, and now he's gonna whiff the super. No, he's not. Good stuff. 
Yeah, Wife Kisser had that round for sure. That was good. Wife Kisser really had to mess up to throw that round, in my opinion. So. Yeah. So now he has to see so he has to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if if done right, he'll only get one kill. But uh. Still. I, I say I say he needs to get two kills to be able to really secure. If it. yeah, if Loose wants to win, he has to get two. But I'm saying for Wife Kisser, he'll pro if he gets one, it's okay. Well, no, because that's if he doesn't. Oh, okay, so oh, not... oh, fuck, shoot him! No! Oh, he traded. Please tell me the results. Of course. I'm sure Luz will let you know. Might I might get to watch on your iPad. If not, bye. See you later, Lucy. Lucy Cannon. I'm sure you'll hear the results. Wait, there's two Lucy Cannons? Yeah, it's a sister, I think. They're really just using the rocks. Ooh, oh no, not good. Alright, now Wife Kisser really has a, uh, a bit of struggle here. He has a minute left and he has to get at least a kill to tie the game. Oh, and he's already weak off the bat. Oh, he's going for the freaking... Ooh, no! Oh! No! Uh, no. Oh, he shouldn't oh, have backed off. Oh, Bob and Weave, dude. Bob and Weave. Oh, damn. That's it. That's game. Unfortunate, man. Wife Kisser put up a good fight. A couple yeah. of his plays were uh, his downfall, but it's okay. He did good. I mean, he's still, I mean, you know, two kills in 30 seconds is doable, but he hasn't gotten one yet, so I don't think. Yeah, GG. Unfortunate, man. Yeah. I still think that sniper in that sidearm really cost it for him. It did, I would say as well. If he wouldn't have had that, and he used his swap for like a snipe slash shotgun, I think if I were to do like be in this tournament, I would make sure that my uh, my kinetic weapon is good off the bat and only swap my special. Really, I'm watching Scrota Joe. Okay, guess I'll watch no, I'm not watching him. <laughs> the stream's oh, okay. bad, dude. You watch him. <sighs> oh no, Luce is bad too. All right, I haven't spectated loose really much anyways this game or this tournament We're on distant shore both of them are in the middle of the map of uh, scroll has got control of the outside of the what portal that? It makes it look like it's a crayon. I don't know <laughs> Loose is backing up back to his spawn Dude, Joe's, Joe's uh, point of view is very slow and choppy. Yeah, loose is going through river Trying to keep control of uh, I guess the middle of the map here Scrot is not going to give up his back control, which might not be the best ideas anyways, but... They're both holding their points, and they're not really... Well, maybe... A, what's that? This cannon moving around? We've got a minute and ten seconds left of this round. No kills to be had yet. We're getting to this engagement, and both um, trade here. We got some equal skill by the looks of it. We got a minute left. Positioning change. Scrota has got... His sights on loose with his sniper here. Paul stayed out, gets him off of that position. Dude, I'm watching a slideshow right now. <laughs> Alright. Both of them trying to push. I almost have to go. Aw, sad face. You're gonna miss you're gonna miss the uh, finals. Probably not by much time either. Both outside. 3-3. Three, three. One of them has to get a kill here. Scrota is healing rifted up on that rock. No, he isn't. He moved? I thought he just dropped the healing rift. Oh, almost picked loose off with that snipe. We got crouch shooting going on. This is going to be a very close little fight here. Both of them probably full HP. Loose technically has control of the zone. Ooh. Scrota has control of his health, though. I think that's going to be it for Loose, yeah. yeah. Good round, Scrota. This is a very close game. Maybe when on the flag, he, he so didn't, like... He out. should have threw up his barrier in the doorway and just cap flag. 
I'm gonna go back to Joe, see if his thing's working. Joe's perspective is very scuffed, yeah. Yeah, looks like it's normal for now. He's got Sniper ads on Luce, he knows where he's at. Luce is gonna switch positions, go around, try to close the oh, distance on him. Oh. Scrota still knows where he's at. Scrota keeping good eyes on that radar. I can't see my radar when I play this game. I don't know why, it's too, like, see-through. You can change colors, that's what people do. They turn on colorblind, so you can see it better. It's like green and shit. All right, we're, we got a fight at spawn. Bad positioning for both of them, not gonna lie. Uh, this this is uh, Luce's fight. He's gonna take it, yeah. Yep. Although the Vat not the Vatican, the Valkyrie, whatever gun, the from the yeah, the Seven Seraph on the shotgun. No, 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 no. It's the one auto rifle from that one new brand of like gunsmith called Vest Poison. I mean, that auto rifle is like a seven twenty. Luce's fight yet again. Just has him on freaking no shield. He's gotta be careful. Luce is kind of close to Scrota, I think. They're both three people. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I feel that, Nard. I feel bad, man. Oh, that's gonna Ooh. be a super. I didn't even see him have it, dude. That was a good, that was a good little pop right there. That's that kind of was that was a jump scare. That scared me. It was. He just emerges out of the freaking rock and Kamiyami has him. All right, fighting for the exact same position yet again. He just deflected Ooh. his nade off that barrier. Mm. Oh, that's a hard melee hit again. Oh, that's going to be it. He's going to push out and hit him with the head. Oh, he missed. Missed the opportunity to clean him up. They just traded positions. Luce has a shield, and I think that's going to be round unless he can get a nade off on the flag. Good shit, good shit. He has super if he wants to win this round. There it is. Ooh, did him dirty too. I just slammed him. Well, when it gets better, me and Luce are gonna have a match after the tourney. Yeah, for sure, man. We're gonna have the casters match. We're gonna have we're gonna have another tournament as well. This was the test run. So far, it's went perfectly. So I think we'll uh, we'll be good to have another one eventually. We just gotta get everyone's streams up and working. Scrota got the first kill here on Luce with a good snipe. Luce switching something here. Changing his brightness down. Interesting. Luce going in through tunnel, looking for uh, Scrota. Has no eyes on him, so he's got to be real careful. I'm not going to be in another tourney. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. He sees him, he sees him. Luce. Ooh, Scrota's right, playing a right. good game here. He knows that uh, that Luce is trying to be aggressive, so he's keeping distance with the snipe, which is a very, very good play. Oh, oh that's a body. That's a one. Oh, no, if you would have swapped weapons, you would have had Luce. I'm not going to lie. I think Luce might be a little nervous in this game. He doesn't know how to counter this play. I mean, he's hitting his shots, but he might be just, yeah, like, getting a bit nervous. Oh. There's not much Luce can do unless he swaps weapons. I think that's his best bet. I don't know if he's comfortable with a sniper, though, unfortunately. There, yeah, he might have a little bit too much of a high sensitivity than missing or something. Luce is going to backpedal. Good play. Still needs to get this kill though, if he wants to even win this round. It's 1-1. One, one. That's gonna be a kill for Scrota. Unfortunate, man. That's gonna be another round for Scrota. GG though. Well, good round. Not GG. It's not it's not game yet. I think Luce needs a switch if he wants to win this though. He hasn't gotten a shotgun kill, I don't think, in a bit. He needs to try to switch weapons and counter that snipe. He's not going to, though. Hmm. Scrota again has his super. A great play by Alex. Everyone's copying it. That's going to be a kill. No, it isn't. Come on, you got this. You got this, Luce. That's a kill. Bad play by Scrota. Why did he stay there? 
loose. Theoretically, he could have this round as long as he runs. I would not, I would not be loose running towards Scrota right now because Lu Scrota has snipe and also has his fucking super. So that's kind of spooky. It's gonna do another jump scare, probably. You never know. Probably, he's gonna jump out of nowhere with that Kamiyomi on, destroy him. It's a very easy super to dodge though, as long as you're not in the open. Okay. Loose, if you're smart, oh, you probably stay no, back. No, no, no. Oh, and that's an, that's 3-3. Three, three. One of them has to get a kill or capture the flag now. Very scary territory for both of them. It's definitely in more of Loose's favor, though, because he has a shotgun and is a titan. Chaos on point might be strat, though. I know, it might. Chaos is very defensive. I think right, it's... Let's see. Battle of titans, let's see. I think it's ba better to use it defensively than it is offensively. Okay, Scrooge has got a healing rift. He, if he nades it, he can get him off of that healing and maybe grab him, but... Oh. That is hitting him. He jumped off. I was gonna say he missed the jump, he's gonna die with you. No. That's a body. Oh, that was close. It's pretty bad Scrooge, to your the right fly. there, Luz. He's putting him to fly, like he needs to get him off of there at that point now. Uh-oh. This is not in Scrota's favor. He's got to be very careful here. Uh, oh, oh no! He chokes! Oh no! Ooh. Poor Luce. GG. Ah, oh, he whiffed his shots. He got nervous. Look at this try. Look at this dude. I mean, two attacks because small point, big guardian super. Yeah, unfortunate. That was a good game, though. That was a good game. We have been going for three hours already. Thank you for the follow, homie. Much appreciated. Alright, so we're starting off right into the freaking rusted lands here. Scrota hiding in the tower, hiding in the uh, broke building. Luce trying to get him out of that corner. He does, in fact, get him out of the corner. Missing the snipes already. Pushing back. He knows he has to get some distance with that snipe. He's one shot. And that's going to be a kill for Luce. <laughs> Scrota, either way you play this map, shotgun or sniper, they're both very viable. But uh, uh, Scrota has to adapt to that sniping on this kind of closer range map, I would say. He needs those lanes. He needs to take control of those lanes for him to like do work with that sniper, probably. Yeah. All right, that's a one tap. Need two more. Oh. Oh. Good play by Luce. Knowing when he had to get done and he did it. If he loses this, I feel like it's fair if they play another one. Because, I mean... Luz still has two shots and a shotgun. Let's go to trying to get a snipe peek on him. Luz is playing very well, trying to keep cover with that sniper. Doing very, very well against him. I don't know why we didn't see this in the first round against Luz, Let's go to. Alright, that's a round. But round one goes over to your boy Scro uh, Loose here. I almost said Scro. 3 0. Looks like spare rations words. Well, it's because Loose is playing very well, keeping that, uh, keeping the distance game out of Scroto's head. And uh, I, I think if Scrota doesn't change to a shotgun, he's going to lose this game. Yeah, Luce is playing very well with his shotgun and keeping cover, preventing snipes. Both of them are playing pretty well. Scrota, again, he needs to change his strats or else he's going to lose this game. Oof. Or just hit his shots, man. Because he's doing it. There it is. That's a kill. 
Man, too bad he doesn't have a nade. Oh, good play by Luce, blocking him off at the perfect time. Knowing exactly what he was going to do Get before he even did it. Misses all of his shots, almost got a kill though. Oh, and he still cleans it up. Luce is definitely playing a little better this game than Scrota. I think it's only fair if Scrota and Luce go against one each other one more time. Because to be to be honest, I mean Scrota isn't he was in the finals by himself. Like technically he like won, right? But I don't remember, but yeah, I think what's it called? Who's that's Luce's perspective if you're watching it. Yeah. Stop yeah, like posturing and get on with it. I don't know what you're typing. Get on with the killing. Scrota has his super again. It's 4-3. Scrota's really looking for this kill with his super. He knows he gotta clean it up. But Lou's playing very well against it. Knowing that he has a super, he is trying to hide and it's a very good play. He's jumping out with the la laser Ooh. beam. Baits out the super and he wastes it. Unfortunate, Ooh, man. That feels bad, and he still kills him. Ah, <sighs> dang. I think Luce has got this game. I think we, I think we make them play on distant shore the next game, because both of their this was Luce's pick, and but what if they tie though? Real. That's the only thing. I mean, best of three at that point, but Scrota said oh. he wanted to go to bed, so I kind of feel bad. I'll let them decide. Loose already picking up the first kill. We got a minute and 30 left. This this game is looking like it's, uh, it's Loose's map, so... That's why I also want to try playing on the other two, but it's up to them. If they decide they just want to let Loose win, that's what they can do. They're really dancing around each other in that wall. I figured this would would be the uh, tournament. Scrota and lose the final two. And it did, in fact, end up being that way. They're both pretty good at the game. Missing a lot of shots. That's a kill. Oh, for either of them now. Whoever hits the shot, and Ooh. that is Scrota. Both of them super weak there. One has super, one does Oh, uh, I think it's going to be another kill for Scrota. Not good positioning by Luce. If you got a nade, that would be a free kill. I think you're right. Oh, he hits him with a nade. Both of them on lower than full HP. Three peeking with the sword again. Both on full HP. He has Fist of Havoc. If he wants to win this game, all he has to do is cast it. And that's probably it. Yep. Good stuff by both of the players there. Alright, let's see what they want to do. Okay, so... Technically, there's another round. Uh, it's up to you guys. Um, if you want to play again, it's up to you. I mean, if, if you really want a decided winner, I would think, you know, I don't really going, care. but if it doesn't really, matter to you, don't worry about it. I don't really want to, to be honest. I think we... <laughs> I think this is fine. Right. Yeah. Next tournament. Yeah, we'll take Next it more tournament. seriously, like, when there's, you know, money for it, but yeah. that was fun. I'm glad that uh, it worked well and everything, and it was fun, I hope, for everyone. It was fun. Here, I'm going <laughs> to pop us over to...